I just wish he'd shut up. But there he was, on his knees, screaming at the top of his lungs, hysterically tearing his hair out. It took me a minute to realize what had happened. He looked out the window and started watching in horror as people collapsed and cars ran them over, crashed into each other or on to the trees. We've heard a couple of clamorous thuds and then silence. I listened out for a distant screams, panic, yelling, and, but there wasn't any. Not even one. That was hilarious. I thought he was kidding. His tearful rant may have been true. I've warned him. I told him what the rules were. I just wish the p this pathetic dumbass listened to me more carefully. Stupidity seemed, stupidity seemed to be the only one of, of his flaws. Trembling, he looked away from a window and stared back at me in utter disbelief. What? Why? Is it, is it really everyone? I guess so. Oh, shit. It really may be everyone. Look. The anchor woman is dead. He only caught a glimpse of her corpse. Poor girl's heart stopped beating mid-sentence. TV suddenly turned off and that's when he went batshit crazy. It was entertaining for a short while, but then it was starting to give me a headache. Believe me, I really used to waiting. But it was getting really fucking annoying. Look at me, I've told you that I can't get something for nothing. I can only use available resources. Try to be more thoughtful this time. It shouldn't be a problem now, since you're the wisest man on earth. I couldn't help but smile viciously. You're the best at everything, just like you wanted. So let's get down to business. You've got two more to go. No turning the clock back. He would stop screaming bloody he wouldn't stop screaming bloody murder. I would just wish he'd shut up. I just wish I had somebody to fulfill my wishes too.